for advanced restart button in this room as you can see it's available if you don't have that you can use the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery i am using that advanced restart button to boot into recovery and for the links of this twrp recovery the latest one and also the firmware for poco x3 has been given in the community section you can check out the rom zip file has been given in youtube description As you can see, this is the latest TWRP available for POCO X3. Go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select Dalvik Catcher and data and swipe here to wipe it. Once that has been done, go to home section here and select install and select the micro SD card and wherever you downloaded the ROM zip files. Before flashing that, first flash the firmware 12.5.5.0 global firmware for POCO X3. As you can see, it's get flashed. Again, go to home section and select install and select the rom zip file in this video i am showing cherish os 3.6 this is the latest available build it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully go to home section here again and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done again select this home button select reboot and select the system this is the flashing method of cherish os latest version for poco x3 if you follow this same method and if you download all the rom zip file firmware and use the same recovery you will never never get any problem if you found any problem comment down in the comment section below and in this video we are going to explain in detail regarding this rom how is the bgma gameplay battery life charging speeds everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it's booted into cherish OS. this is the logo let's begin this video hey welcome back to my new video this is sampath you watching sampath sam effects youtube channel and this is cherry's voice 3.6 on poco x3 and you can see here android version 12l and april 5th 2022 and kernel used here is 4.14.198 organ surya kernel has been used and Linux status enforcing and build number and build date you can see here april 12th latest available build for poco x3 and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes one seconds and maximum is 146 and average is 141 and minimum is 118 million gps and good thing is no cpu thermal throttling has been detected yes guys this is going to be a marvelous rom yes why i will tell you in detail and you can see here the cpu throttling has been nothing has been detected that's really good thing and going to dialer you get this kind of dialer settings here let me increase a little bit of volume okay that's how it is and uh, let's see whether call recording and video direct video call feature is available in this room that's not the problem here and call recording is also given but it will notify the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is and coming into home settings this is how the cherry shows you get wallpaper sun style you can choose wallpapers from here there are plenty are available all and at all type of wallpapers are pre-installed it takes time to load few times and widgets you get widgets also as you can see that's not the problem the material you design and at all style is available you can adjust them later also and home settings this is the launcher you get that's how it is it's a pixel launcher and going into app settings like uh, android benchmark result this is one of the highest hands down cherry shows this is a very good rom 3,68,327 and it's also cool you can see at 0.2 degree celsius has been raised the temperature during this testing also the battery dropage is only two percent that's really good three lakh sixty eight thousand which is really good even today's redmi note 11 pro pro plus comes with 695 chipset snapdragon it's almost equivalent to that this chipset that's a really good thing but the geekbench scores are not that great i'll show you here as you can see 
the single score is 529 and multi score is 1613 and the kernel user is linux 4.14.198 argon surya r64 this is playing a vital role in this particular rom i think that's why the hard i mean the core performance is really good in this particular rom and coming to safety net status it will get passed this is an official build for coco x3 as you can see it get passed you can use all the applications like gpay and even whatsapp all are working fine no problem regarding that and drm info you get level 1 certification you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem here and camera you get this kind of basic camera application don't use that use this arno build gcam you get everything working fine here you can use ultra wide also even video features all are working fine in this particular camera application if you want you can use any other gcam ports also if you have one which is working everything you can comment down in the comment section below i can check that gcam and it will be helpful for many others too these are the app settings and into the settings you get this kind of settings here as you can see the scrolling speeds are also just as smooth as any other roms with 120 hertz and this is a quick setting span you can see here even this is also smooth enough to scroll between them let me uninstall this and do benchmark first simply take on performance let me uninstall it yes now fine you won't see any notifications here into the power button you get power of restart and advanced button advanced restart button is available and into cherish settings you get all the customization here but in the miscellaneous settings you get just charging animation you can enable or disable from here and game space you get these kind of options i mean gaming mode that's available nice thing but you won't get any options to increase the higher fps count in particular rom this rom and also google photos unlimited so but good thing is you will get directly smooth plus 90 fps in bgmi as it was in the previous room like that you no need to enable anything that's really good and notifications you get all the settings here you can enable or disable from here into power menu advanced restart button and some of the options you can add from here into lock screen you get double tap to sleep wake on doze display schedule also you can make a start time end time charging information you can enable or disable media cover art filter and pulse everything you can adjust from here into animations you get all the animations you can enable or disable or customize them and button settings you get system navigation invert three button navigation bar if you enable three button navigation bar you can invert that that option is there volume stops reorient volume rocker wave on toggle torch when screen off you can adjust them from here into themes you get these kind of options and this is very important use black theme enable this whenever you apply dark theme let me show you as you can see now this is in pitch black condition if i disable this it won't be in pitch black condition let me show you as you can see it's gray type you need to enable this what is the use of using dark theme when it is gray isn't it that's how it is and coming to quick settings you get all the basic things here battery slider position keyless pull down vibrate on touch location privacy indicator mic and camera privacy indicator you can disable that if you don't want this from here QS footer text you can enable from that and status bar setting you can choose the clock style clock and date and lots of options basics customizations are included here battery style you can see here not a hardcore customization what you see in cr droid or evolution x nothing like that but definitely it's better than pixel experience and what what was the yesterday rom i reviewed this and end was those don't have this much of customization and in the utilities they added this access built menu and some of the settings it's an handy feature to have in any android 12 particular from and this android 12 l not 12.1 and uh, regarding system gestures into system navigation into the settings you can increase the pill length but there is no increase option of height to that particular pill that's how it is and one handed mode is working fine as you can see and even three finger swipe shot uh, sorry screenshot is also working fine that's not the problem here that's how it is and uh, even the keyboard as you can see it's also themed one if want you can even customize them further let's see the bgma what all the as i said before only it will come with smooth plus 90 fps how it handle let's see
and as I said before, you need, need not to enable any options in settings. You directly get Smooth Plus 90fps. Just go to graphic settings and change it. That's how it is. And I really like the performance. And even you can see the live time FS count here. This is very good ROM for gaming. Nowadays, many ROMs are available for gaming. And I am personally waiting for Mio Mint. Many are also waiting for that. I know it. But when it releases, who knows? and regarding volume loudness also as you can see it's pretty loud very good ROM they have improved a lot in this particular ROM Cherry Swiss previous version wasn't third grade but this one is really good paradise let's go with that that's also a hard spot every time I was showing bootcamp now with paradise let's see and as you can see the live FPS count is really good it is constant 90 you can see here from 80 to 90 we will not see that happen every time in any every uh, i mean in any rom that's really good that's how guys you need to judge now it's dropping to 70 percent it's quite obvious because it's in a hot spot many people land here too and uh, it's time to unfollow and get our guns. Oh no, I got this. Okay, one of my teammates already got knocked out. You can definitely use it as a daily driver and even this is very good for day-to-day -day performance also and the gaming you can see here it's very good may help my teammate as you can see jumping everything is fine enough not a big problem here come inside come inside number one that's how it is i'll revive him and i'll show you the tdm and as you can see this is the TDM now with same graphic setting set to smooth plus 90 fps it was handling fine in Sanok I mean the classic matches even with TDM it will definitely handle better I like playing in this particular ROM that's how it is the performance and let me show you the charging animation with this 33 watt charger will it support or not again it is charging rapidly you can definitely use 33 watt charger and you can see the fingerprint unlock how fast it is and you get a sound like that and animation also that's really fine and the face unlock let me show you as you can see the face unlock is also very fast in this particular ROM that's how guys
in this video and the verdict is it's a very good gaming rom and i like their improvement in this particular rom compared to previous versions that's how it is i hope they maintain the same for upcoming builds with new features that's all guys in this video i hope I explained everything thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now